Hey guys, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to show you what I bought from Universal Studios, so let's get started. So there's a lot of Halloween Horror Night merchandise in this haul, so I'll start off with this Halloween, Everyday's Halloween um, t-shirt. It's a really cool design. It's all my favourite things on it. Ravens, pumpkins, ghosts, skeletons. Really cool. That was $30. I was really impressed with the Halloween Horror Night merchandise this year. I think it's the best it's ever been. And then, as some of you may have seen on Instagram, me and Dave become annual pass holders at Universal Studios, which is really exciting. So we bought the annual pass holder t-shirt, um, All How the Pumpkin Lord. He was so cool at Halloween Horror Night. I think it was awesome. I really love that t-shirt and it has the um, annual pass holder logo on the sleeve and that was $30. All of my stuff is just in a box muddled up so it's going to be going from like non-Halloween Horror Night stuff back onto Halloween Horror Night stuff. So yeah I bought this um, Universal Studios fleece, it zips up at the front. Um, we go on a lot of countryside walks, so I thought this would be super warm and I really like that and it really caught my eye. It just feels really nice. It feels really warm. That was $62, so I'm looking forward to getting all cosy and warm on a winter's walk wearing that. And I bought this gorgeous bolero style top from the All Hallows Eve boutique got fringing design at the bottom covered in sequins so it looks so nice it's very me very cute I can't wait to wear that um, that was $45 and it's by Cynthia, Cynthia Mahera um, that's that right absolutely beautiful I look absolutely beautiful at Halloween obviously I wear Halloween stuff all year round don't need to say that anymore yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. Then I bought this top from the Monster Store. Um, has the Bride of Frankenstein on the front. And on the sleeve it says Frankenstein. That was $40. Sort of t-shirt material, it's like a long sleeve t-shirt, but it's a really cool design. I was really in love with that. And then from the Halloween Horror Night Tribute Shop, I bought this skull headband with this black veil at the back. I was thinking about wearing this to one of the nights I attended Halloween Horror Nights but in the end I went for the headband that I bought which I'm hopefully will be able to show you later if it's in this box. Yeah I really like things like this, um, I'll definitely be wearing this again. Um, I think some of the skulls could do have been gluing on a bit best, they're a bit loose. Yeah I was really pleased that, I'm so in love with it, it's really cool. I done a little photo shoot for Halloween wearing this. Yeah, I love the little um, accessories they bring out for Halloween Horror Nights. And then I bought this Universal Studios sweatshirt with the vintage retro design on the front. I thought it was really cool. I got it in a size medium, so I like my sweatshirt. My sweatshirt's a bit quite oversized. I, um, that cost $52. I was hoping to get the denim jacket with this design on the back. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it anywhere. I should have asked someone whether it's coming back in stock or not, but I don't know, but I'm really pleased with that. And then I bought this Harry Potter top, Ravenclaw. It's like a spirit jersey design. I love Ravenclaw, so everything of mine is Ravenclaw. What house are you? Tell me in the comments what house you are. Yeah, it's like a spirit jersey design. I really like that. That was $65. And again from the monster shop, I picked up this dress. It's like a monster's dress with Frankenstein all over it. It's a lovely green color with tie sleeve detailing. And um, this was $70. Dave actually spotted that for me, so this will definitely be coming away with me next year. Super nice, really lightweight and flowy. Um, yeah, it's a really nice design. That was from the Monster Shop. They've picked up this t-shirt from the All Hallows Eve boutique, I believe. Really nice, cool gothic design on the front. So 
that's really cool. So it's Death Grim Reaper at the bottom, so it's a very cool design. Um, I think this is my t-shirt. I can't remember what Dave bought and what I bought, but it has this really cool in Halloween We Trust t-shirt with a big pumpkin on the front. This is size small. I'm guessing it's mine. Um, yeah, I think that's really cool. Again, that's from the All Hallows Eve boutique. And I think the Dead Coconut shop in um, City Walk also stocks these kind of t-shirts. I thought that was really cool. That was $35. I really loved that. Then me and Dave both picked up a Halloween Horror Nights beanie hat for this winter. They were $27. So I really like that. It's got the Halloween Horror Nights logo on the front. Then I picked up this Acid Wash um, Universal Studios Retro t-shirt. Again, really cool. I got it in a size medium. That was $30. Um, so that will definitely be coming on my trip again with me next year. I love the retro design. I think it's really cool. I just love it. And I picked up this pumpkin vest top from All Hallows Eve Boutique and Islands of Adventure. Really love that. It's by the same designer as my Bolero. This was $30. Absolutely love that. I think it's so cool. Such a cool design. It has this... Um, almost lace up detailing at the back which gives it really pretty look from behind and Dave picked up this t-shirt I think this was also from All Hallows Eve Boutique it's a really cool almost playing card design type thing um, really nice design absolutely love it perfect for any Halloween lover then after Dave rode um, Fast and Furious, obviously he came through the gift shop and he spotted this vest top that I would like and I absolutely love it. Never seen Fast and Furious, not been on the ride, but I love anything with skulls and stuff on it. I really like that. It's got studs here, stud detailing and I thought it was a really cool, um, really cool design so that would be perfect for next summer. I love that. That was $35. We picked up a Halloween Horror Nights fridge magnet. So every time I look at my fridge, it's going to remind me of my amazing holiday. I picked up this gorgeous tie-dye, scares at every turn, Halloween Horror Nights Universal Studios. And on the back, it's got this really cool design with the Pumpkin Lord on the back. I think that's really cool. It has a few characters from the scare zones, so... Yeah, I think that's really awesome. I love the design. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, that was $65. And I picked up a couple of other Ravenclaw pieces. I got the scarf. Um, I actually took the price tag off that. Can't remember how much it was. I think it was around $30. Super warm. So I'm going to wear that a lot this winter super cozy and Dave picked up the Ravenclaw headband for me in the gift shop while we were watching the fireworks that was $20 so it's a bit steep for a headband but yeah I think it will go well because I did buy the um I did buy the gown so yeah I think that looked really cute with that then I bought this um Halloween Horror Nights t-shirt it's got like um, almost like a vest top style design to the sleeves and on the back it has this really cool design with all the houses on it for whoever done Halloween Horror Nights what was your favourite house um, I think mine was probably the sentence of destruction I really liked Halloween I really liked um, the monsters house Spirits of the Coffin is the one that I was really looking forward to, but I have to say it's a bit disappointing, so I was really gutted about that. Yeah, I really love that t-shirt. I got the Halloween Horror Night bucket hat. This feels amazing quality. It's like really well lined. It's got the logo sewn on in onto the inside. It's actually reversible. I didn't realise that. It was actually reversible, which is awesome. Don't know how I only just realised that. Um yeah, it's a really cool design. It's got pumpkins, ghosts and skulls all over it, so it's my perfect design. That's $34. I'm really pleased with that. 
I've got the Halloween Horror Night leggings with Boo on, with also skulls, witches. These are gonna look so cute. I got them in a size small. They look quite small, so I hope they fit me okay. But I just love them, they just look so cool. And um, I will wear these all year. I love Halloween. Um, $35. I hope they continue to do lots of different merchandise, like not just t-shirts, like bring back leggings, do all of it. I think it's really cool. Put up a couple of pins from Universal Studios. I got a Death Eater pin. So the Death Eater pin was $9 and the Universal Studios pins were $14. Dave picked up this Death Eater t-shirt has a really cool design I love how it almost looks worn and faded it's really gothic really interesting it's really nice mild grey colours absolutely beautiful that was $27 and I got the Halloween Horror Night cropped hoodie love the design again got boo on it and I love I just love the way it looks I think it's really cool that was $40 and I got that in a size medium again so I like them to fit quite baggy it's a really nice lightweight material so it's almost like t-shirt material I really love that then we got a cup holder these were can't remember how much these were I think they were about $15 yeah it's really quite handy to pop your cup in put it on your shoulder so you don't have to keep holding it really nice material um, yeah, I hope they bring back these again because I think they're really cool. It's a good idea. And I just had to buy this bag. I think it's so cute. It's like um, a shoulder bag. It has the Halloween Horror Night on the back. Um, yeah, I'm just so in love with that. I think it's so cute. You can actually fit quite a lot into here, to be fair. It has a little zip-up compartment in there. So yeah, I really like that. I think it's so cute. I have plenty of stock. So yeah, I really love that, it's so nice. And Polly actually really loves spiders. So I bought her this spider plushie from um, Nocturne Alley. This was $21.95 and she absolutely loves it. I think it's, it's actually really good that she likes spiders. So yeah, I think that's really cool. And then I got this from All Hallows Eve Boutique. I think it was really cute. Um, yeah, I just love the design. Really gothic, really, yeah, I think it's really nice. Not sure how much that was, there's no tag on it. But again, I think you can buy these in the Dead Coconut Shop on City Walk if you love alternative t-shirts. And I bought this t-shirt again, really cool gothic design, Halloween Horror Night. That was $35, it's very beautiful. And then I bought this knitted Quidditch um, Ravenclaw jumper from the Harry Potter gift shop. And it's really warm and cosy, so I can imagine this being so warm on a winter's day. And I love that it's Harry Potter, it's nice and long. Um, it wasn't cheap, that was $109, but it is wool. So you have to be really careful how you wash these. But yeah, it's super warm, really nice and long. So it's gonna be perfect for those cold winter days. Got this Christmas top from Universal. Really, really beautiful. I love the design on the back. I got this from the Christmas shop in Universal Studios. I can't remember what it's called, but it's absolutely beautiful in there. You must go and have a look. So I really love that. I'm gonna wear that over Christmas. That was $60, it really gorgeous and festive. And then I bought this Halloween Horror Nights Spirit Jersey. Um, Halloween Horror Nights 2022 and on the back says every day is Halloween, which of course it is in my house. Absolutely love that design, it's tie-dye black and orange. And yeah, I got it in an oversized fit and I just think that looks so awesome. That was, there's no tag on it. I can't remember how much that was. Yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited to wear that. Then both me and Dave bought the Halloween Horror Night um, check shirt. 
which has this really cool design on the back. I'll probably layer this with a t-shirt over underneath. Um, yeah, I think that's really cool, like the design on one of the t-shirts I showed you earlier. And that was $75. It feels really nice and thick. I just think it's a really cool addition to my Halloween Horror Night wardrobe collection that I have going on. Then I bought this cropped um, Death Eater t-shirt from Nocturne Alley. I really love the design. I think it looks really quite gothic and unusual. Um, it feels quite oversized, that's so gonna look really cool. Absolutely love that. And that was $30. And that is a size small, so as you can see, it's quite oversized. So if you don't like an oversized fit, I would size down on that. I picked up this Death Eater vest top. It's got like a glitter detailing on the front with the Death Eater logo. This really cool sort of um, bleached effect. On the back, it's got this gorgeous detailing. Really pretty. So that'll be perfect for summer. That was $34.99. It says absolutely gorgeous. And again, I got that in Nocturne Alley. I mean, Dave both bought a Death Eater scarf. They had it um, styled really cool in a model, which really caught our eye. I think they look so cool. It was $24.95. So I can't wait to style that with some of my bits I bought. And for Christmas, um, Dave got a Gryffindor stocking and I got the Ravenclaw stocking. So they're going to look really cute over Christmas in our living room. Absolutely beautiful designs. They were $35 each. They're just absolutely beautiful. The finish on them is just gorgeous. Perfect for any Harry Potter fan. And I bought this pyjama set from one of the Harry Potter gift shops. Um, bottoms were $35 and the top was $29.95. It's a really cute top. Look at the house logos on the front there with the matching bottoms. It's perfect for any Harry Potter fan. I got a Ravenclaw winter hat. Again, super cute. Gonna look really cool, my winter walks and that. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. It's got the Ravenclaw um, patch sewn on there. That's gorgeous, nice and warm for those cold winter walks. Then I picked up this Death Eater sweatshirt. I thought it was really nice. It feels really good material, the way that's sewn on there. Um, the dark mark, really nice. Really nice thick material. That was $65. I cannot wait to wear that, it looks so nice. That was $65. I cannot wait to wear that, it looks so nice. Next up, we done the um, free wand promotion they had going on with the gift cards. Um, so we got two free wands. Dave chose Ginny Weezy's wand. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can get it out for you. The packaging is so good. You don't need to worry about your wands getting broken on the way home. So it's absolutely beautiful. Hopefully my camera's focusing so I can't see. They're really gorgeous. Really nice design on the handle there. And I obviously chose the Death Eater wand. My These are not interactive wands, but me and Dave do have interactive wands. And the wand I have is a Death Eater wand. So this one is just absolutely gorgeous. So look at that. That is just wow. I hope that's focusing in okay. That's just absolutely stunning. I absolutely love that. It's going to look gorgeous on display. But yeah, I'm really pleased with those. Okay, I've also picked up the Ravenclaw tie. Not quite sure when I'm going to wear that, but um, I'll probably have it on display somewhere. That was $39. It's very different. Picked up the Halloween Horror Night bum bag. Um, really cool. It says Halloween every day on the strap perfect for if you don't want to wear a rucksack 
fits quite a lot in there. It's got really nice lining on the inside. I love bum bags, I actually wear them quite a lot. And that was $32. We picked up this photo frame from that Halloween theme from the Halloween house. We'll probably put a picture of us at Halloween Horror Nights in there just for nice memories. Um, Dave actually really loves the Halloween films and yeah, I think that's really cool to have in the living room. And that was $29. We also picked up the scented candle from the Halloween Horror Nights shop. That was $20. I wish I could get you to smell that through the camera, it smells amazing. It has this wooden wick in the middle, which is really cool. We burn Halloween candles all year round, so even though Halloween is now over, we'll definitely be burning that. It smells just absolutely gorgeous. And then we picked up some um, Full Hallows Eve scented wax melts from the Halloween Horror Night shop. It's smell absolutely gorgeous, I can't describe it, it's just so good, not sure how much those were, there's no price on. They smell delicious. And now I got this I'm a treat t-shirt from the tribute shop. Really cool, it's got like a pumpkin scarecrow on it. Pumpkins, I love pumpkins. That was $30. I absolutely love that, I think it's gorgeous. Then I picked up this Halloween hoodie from the um, Halloween house, really cool design on the back, that was $57. I always pick up a Halloween Horror Night hoodie because I find myself wearing them a lot, so that's really cool. I couldn't leave Florida without picking up the Boss Witch t-shirt, it's actually like a sleeveless t-shirt, so it's really cool, it's glow in the dark, absolutely love that design, and that was $35. Me and Dave both picked up these mustard coloured um, t-shirts, really cool, really giving off those Halloween vibes. Um, pumpkin heads. I got this in quite a large size, it was $35 and I got it in a size XL I believe. But I don't mind wearing my t-shirts oversized but they must have been popular because that was the only size they had left. But it looks quite small for an XL to be fair. See, so yeah, I'll probably wear this with like cycling shorts over the top. So I think that looks really cool. And of course here I have my Harry Potter gown. It's gonna be a bit difficult for me to show you on camera so I'll uh, insert a picture here. It's a Ravenclaw gown, it's absolutely stunning. It feels really good quality. Um, I can't remember how much they were but I'm gonna guess it's something like $130. Um, you can get them on all houses obviously. Mine is Ravenclaw like I said. Um, so yeah, I really love these and I think it's really cool just to walk around Universal wearing it. It makes you feel quite, you know, cool. Really good photo opportunities wearing it. So yeah, I would definitely recommend one if you're a Harry Potter fan. It's definitely worth the money. They're just absolutely gorgeous. And then Dave picked up the Halloween t-shirt. Again, he loves this film. It's a really cool design. It has red detailing on the sleeves and the neckline. Uh, backlight reactive, so when you go under blue light, it glows under the light, which is really cool. That was $37, that's really nice. And this is the one top that I was really looking forward to buying because I saw it online. Is this spirit jersey, black at the top, then at the bottom it has this um, Halloween pattern design with pumpkins, witches, ghosts, skulls, and on the back it's Halloween every day. I really like that. It has the stripe detailing on the sleeve. This was $65. I cannot wait to wear this. I think it looks so cool. I really love that. I picked up this um, Boo cushion. Holly really liked that actually. Um, this was $45. This will be going on my sofa as well. It's so cute and um, yeah, I just really like that. And whilst in the annual pass holders lounge, I bought this pass holder bum bag, which I wore to Halloween Horror Nights before I got the Halloween Horror Night bum bag. Yeah, it's really useful just to pop. I mean, that this fitted in quite a lot. It fitted in everything I needed for the evening. That's really handy so you don't have to keep going into your rucksack to get your stuff out. It's just all available. 
So yeah, it's really nice. And we picked up this Halloween Horror Night um, display, something to have in the house. Because me and Dave are such big fans of Halloween Horror Night, it'd be really nice to have something on display in the house to remind us of it. Um, so yeah, I thought that was really nice. They had quite a few different designs of these, but I chose this one. Um, I can't remember, oh, it's $37. So I'm going to have this on display all year round and yeah, every time I look at it, it'll remind me of Florida. So yeah, I really like that. And at Halloween Horror Nights, I bought this headband of horns on it with flowers. It lights up. So I really like that. Um, it was a little uncomfortable to wear with the battery pack there. But um, yeah, I really liked it. I think it was so nice for Halloween Horror Nights. I'll probably take it back again with me next year. Although I'll probably have new things out that I'll probably buy anyway. Yeah, I really like that. That was about $16, $20, something like that. So I really like that. And then we bought a platform nine and three quarters um, tree decoration for our tree this year. That was $18.95 and I think that looks so nice. That's going to be a really nice addition to our tree this year. So I can't wait to get that on there. It's going to look so cute. And then I bought some scrunchies from the Tribute store that have different um, Halloween designs on. They were $10 each, which is quite steep for um, scrunchies. But um, yeah, I really like them and I thought I should treat myself because it's not every day you can buy Halloween themed stuff, which is why I go so mad at Halloween. So yeah, I really like those. I got Polly this little cat in the hat toy. I thought that was super adorable. I think she really likes that. So yeah, I got that. I don't know how much it was for taking the tag off. Yeah, the cat in the hat. And then I got an Apple Watch strap for my watch that has the Halloween Horror Night detailing on. That was $40 and I'm really excited to get that on my watch. I think it's really cool. And yeah, they had it for all different watch sizes, so there was bound to be a size there to suit your device. I also got the Nocturne Alley um, pin, which was $9. That was really cool. And we got the Halloween Horror Night that has um, Frankenstein on the front there. Reusable bag. It's Halloween Horror Nights on the other side. Definitely use this for my shopping. And a few smaller bits. Um, Dave bought this um, Michael Myers um, patch to put on his Halloween Horror Night shirt, which is really cool. That was $11. Got his really cool uh, bat sunglasses. We got another Halloween scented candle. That was $20. Oh, that smells like Halloween. That's Smells amazing. I got some jewelry bits from the tribute shop. That was so cute. We got a bracelet. This was eighteen dollars. I hope the camera's focusing. I can't see the screen, so hopefully it is. If it's not, I'll insert a picture here. We picked up um, the coins. Um, each year you get coins from the Halloween Horror Night Tribute Shop. It's the Pumpkin Lord. That one is Dracula. That's a little boo. bits that we collect every year of the coins and I got another necklace it's a bit tangled up so as you can see it's this gorgeous um, moon design absolutely gorgeous very mystical absolutely beautiful 
that was 9.95 absolutely love that it's absolutely gorgeous and lastly i bought this nightmare before christmas necklace absolutely beautiful i hope you can see that okay that was 19.99 absolutely beautiful so we also bought these chocolate frogs i forgot to add them into the haul so dave bought this chocolate frog from honey dukes it comes in this nice tin and inside you have your chocolate frog nice thick chocolate it looks pretty good and then inside you have these character cards inside the tin so here we have Roderick Gryffindor and Albus Dumbledore and these have like a 3D effect the camera's not picking it up and we have Helga Hufflepuff Salazar Slytherin and Rowena Ravenclaw see it comes in this nice tin which is a nice keepsake um, yes yeah, so that's nice and then we bought this in the Christmas shop it's like a glass um, sort of material um, which is really nice a nice keepsake which you can keep out and you buy this frog separate so it looks like a chocolate frog but it's sort of made out of like a rubbery material and inside you have this fridge magnet yeah that's really nice so you get um, this glass dish and the frog separate we got that in the Christmas shop so that's nice so if you're a Harry Potter fan it's a nice thing to have out So that was my Universal Studios haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in our next one. Bye.